everybody, it's scan day again. Gray's here. Hi, B. And our baby's back there. Today is a very busy day. I'm going to be at the hospital from like 10 until 4.30 or something. Um, the schedule for today is, first, I'm going in to have my port access to have blood drawn. Then, I'm going to go get the nuclear bone scan injection. I'll probably then start drinking the CT scan dive. Then, I'm going to have my CT scan. Then, I will wait some more time probably because it won't be time yet for the bone scan. Then I'll have my bone scan. Then, I have an appointment with my oncologist. Hopefully they have the results by then. There's like some time in between that too. And then I have my injection appointment to get Exgeva and Zoladex. So we're doing it all on the same day this time to just get it all out of the way, but it's just gonna be a very long day at the hospital. Gray came so that he can work while all that's happening. Are you excited about this? About working? Yeah. Yes, I'm super excited. I'm going to do some work. Are you excited about scans? I, yeah, I want them to be good. Yeah. Well, but I also want them to be accurate, you know? Yeah, like, like you don't want them to say I don't want them to say fine. everything's fine if it's not. But I do want them to say everything's fine, and then I want that to be true. I just want them to accurately reflect what's going on so that we can figure out what to do. I mean, be a little scan, stressed. Yeah. There's, there's, no, there's nothing to indicate that they shouldn't be good. It's just, it's new scans, so I yeah. always to be stressed. It's always, it's always stressful because you're learning new information. Right now, I'm living like everything's fine because my last scans were fine. So, you just gotta keep living like everything's fine. And when you get new scans, it's always, there's always a potential to learn new information that something is not fine. So, that's why getting new scans is stressful. Or at least in my mind. Makes sense. Do you agree with that? I do. So, I'll just give updates. When I have to. Yep. Yeah. Anything else to say? Okay, bye. Okay, so I did a horrible job of continuing the vlog the rest of the day. Literally just forgot that I had the camera. So I took a few clips in the hospital that I can show you now. First thing is I went in and got access. So I have a video of me with my port access. Then I have a video waiting for my nuclear bone scan injection. Then I got the injection and then I had to drink the CT scan drink, which is like actually as big as my face. I've had worse things to drink, um, but I don't really enjoy drinking that much liquid. And then I have a video after my CT scan waiting in front of the hospital for Gray because he came and brought lunch and we ate it outside because I was freezing from being in the room with like the scans and stuff and it was pretty warm outside so that was really nice and then I have no videos after that because I guess I just completely forgot. After that I went down for my nuclear bone scan and had that and came back and then we went into the cancer center and waited for a little bit and I had my oncologist appointment, my regular one that I normally have, and we got all the results then. And so for my results, everything was basically unchanged. And actually that's really good. Like, I know you might think like, oh, shouldn't it be smaller? But no change is actually good as long as things aren't progressing. Um, so I didn't have anything where the lumpectomy was because clear margins and everything with that and then everything everywhere else in my body and my bones and stuff was just unchanged based on the nuclear bone scan and on the CT scan. So that was really good, that was really good news. Then we had a talk about my tumor. So it took a really long time for the pathology stuff to get straightened out and it was really strange. I don't know why it took so long um, but like my oncologist was having it sent to my hospital and the other hospital like couldn't figure it out but they ended up both running it and when one of the hospitals ran it it showed that HER2 was negative like it's always been, progesterone was negative, 
which it hasn't always been negative. When I was originally diagnosed, I had, I was PR positive and it was negative in September when I had a biopsy. So that was kind of unchanged from September. And then ER was positive, but it was only like 3% positive. And um, that was what it said at one hospital. And at the other hospital, it said that ER was 10%. So that's fine. That makes sense. Like different samples and like maybe it means under 10%, not 10%. So uh, yeah, that's all fine and whatever. A lot of times when the estrogen receptor percentage is that low, the cancer can behave more like triple negative breast cancer, which could be a reason for why the tumor in my breast was still growing when everything else in my body was shrinking or staying the same. You might think, well, why do you even care about this information? Because if you got all the cancer out of your body, then why does it matter? And I just think that it's always good to have information. Um, you never know when you might need to use it. You never know if there could be a little bit of cancer left over. And since we were able to biopsy that tumor, that gives us information. It's a lot harder to biopsy the other spots in my body right now. So if something were to happen, we do have the information from the latest biopsy, which could help us and act kind of as a guide, I guess. There's still going to be some other testing run on that tumor, which also will help give us information. And obviously we just want to have all the information that we can have to get all the clues that we can have to make sure that I am on the best treatment and that if this treatment stops working, we have some other kinds of plans going forward or if there's like something that we can add in addition to this treatment that we have that information and really like goal is to stay alive for as long as possible so having all the information would be great and so yeah I don't have any of that um, extra stuff because the tumor has to be sent off for that but I do have the receptor status which is good and I'm a little bit bummed that the estrogen keeps decreasing because triple negative breast cancer is more aggressive than hormone positive breast cancer in general. So it's a little worrying that it keeps decreasing like that, but it is what it is and I'm just glad that we have the information. And just because the tumor that was taken out of my breast has those markers doesn't mean that the cancer other places in my body has those markers. So you may be wondering why am I not changing my treatment then if the tumor is that was pulled out of my breast is behaving more like triple negative. And that's just because that the current treatment that I'm on is still working well in the rest of my body like i said there's been no change on the scans and i don't think it would be super wise to act and change stuff up and i'm saying i but and so i know you guys are gonna be like you know everything blah you act like you know everything and no like when i say i i really mean like me and my team of doctors that have discussed this with me. So we don't think it makes sense to change the treatment right now. That's not what's medically recommended by anything to switch treatment when it is keeping stage four breast cancer stable as is because people can live a long time if they can stop their cancer from spreading. So as long as it isn't spreading or increasing or whatever you want to call it, that's good. And so my current plan is to remain on the treatment that I am on. And if you are confused about the treatment that I am on, I have another video explaining what the treatment is that I'm on because I know it's switched around a lot and some people get confused. I won't waste your time with those details in this video, but if 
you are interested in that and you want to know the treatment then I have another video about it and I'll link it in the description. I'm trying to think if there's anything else you guys would have questions about and I'm like drawing a blank so sorry if I didn't answer everything. If you have any questions please leave them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. If you do have a question it would help me out a lot if you could read the comments to see if other people have already asked it and I have already answered it but um, if you don't have time to do that, that's, o that's okay too. Our family of three is doing well. Um, the baby's doing great. She's sick right now, so that's kind of why I'm a little bit tired. She's been handling a sick baby, um, but otherwise doing well. And uh, Gray is doing really well, really enjoying his job. I posted a poll on my channel asking which video you wanted to see and you guys said that you wanted to see this one. I'm sorry to the people who were in the minority who wanted to see the second half of my story on my back surgery, but I promised you that video is coming. I just do not have the time to edit both videos right now and I'm really sorry about it. Um, we've been doing lots of traveling and it's been so, so much fun, but obviously that means that I have less time and Obviously, I'm a stay-at-home full-time mom, so there's also that where I'm most of my time is going toward that and videos are kind of just a hobby on the side that I do when I can. So anyway, thank you so much for watching this. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments and I will do my best to answer them. And yeah, that's all. Bye.